morning, everyone. Welcome. Just a thought before we begin our liturgy today during this season of ordinary time, we put into practice what we celebrate at the um, special times of Christ coming and dying and rising. It's what evangelization is all about, to take the gospel and to bring it to the ends of the earth, as the gospel tells us. But the two um, thoughts that I want you to have before we celebrate today is that Jesus was very practical and realistic. So just listen for how uh, that might speak to you today. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us and have mercy. So will our ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Let us take a moment to put ourselves totally in the presence of our God and to open up our hearts to his call that in whatever ways God chooses, he may use us to bring his good news to others. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose will it is that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of your truth, Look upon your abundant harvest and be pleased to send workers to gather it, that the gospel may be preached to all creation and that your people, gathered by the word of life and sustained by the power of the sacraments, may advance in the path of salvation and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the, from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us, Let us see, see your face, face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see, see your, your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, 
look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, as you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. So although there is a, a general call, go out and proclaim the kingdom of heaven, Jesus is very practical and realistic in so many of the things that you have to have or do to make that a reality and to deal with it as it is. And I think perhaps those many things could speak to each of us in different ways. What is it that the Lord is specifically teaching or calling you to today to be an evangelizer, to be a person who goes out and announces the kingdom of heaven to whomever you come into contact with and in whatever real ways it may be effective for them. Certainly one of those practical and realistic parts of this entire teaching is summed up in the words or the concept that if People don't accept you. Shake the dust from your feet and move on. Leave the rest up to God. I think that's really important because try as we might, and certainly um, in many cases be very effective and helpful, sometimes more than we realize because of the grace of God, sometimes we just get shut down. People don't want to hear what we have to say or offer them or whatever it might be and it can be very um, discouraging it can be tempting to tempted to just give up and uh, say what's the use uh, but Jesus said no those kind of things are going to happen shake the dust and move on so for me now that that's <laughs> happening a lot of times and part of that is stay focused on all the good stuff but it does happen once in a while. And it, uh, it's that 
proverbial one out of ten that just gets stuck in the claw and you just know that it's there. Um, just keep that in mind sometimes that the Lord knew that, the Lord experienced that, and the Lord told us what to do with it. Just shake the dust and move on. Let's trust that God will give us what we need. So we pray that the church will be certainly committed and persevering in bringing the message of the gospel to our world, even when it may not be accepted by others or especially at those times it may be rejected or ridiculed, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our community, for all of our people, for people who... Um, are yet comfortable with coming back for people that perhaps are just um, tottering a little bit in terms of where they are with the whole pandemic and perhaps where they are with the Lord and with the church or with life, that they will feel God's love as the strongest factor in helping them to come and share more fully in that love, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are suffering in any way by the virus or any illness of mind, body, or spirit. We pray for all of their caregivers and family members. We pray for all those in the medical profession and first responders, and certainly for an end to this pandemic and for the um, willingness to do our part to keep people safe and healthy. We pray to the Lord. We pray that all of our children Young adults and our children with special needs will experience God's love, protection, and all that they do, especially during these summer months. We pray to the Lord. We remember all those who have died, all our own family members and friends and parishioners. We pray for Ronald Lauer. We pray for Father Bob Blorkowski. And all those who are near and close to us, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, you have called us, you send us, and we know that you give us all that we need. So help us to persevere in good times and in bad, and to be clear signs of your presence to others. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be pleasing and acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may be exalted among the nations and in every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things and has, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all who serve your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My friends, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And from our hearts, let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Teach all nations to keep whatever I have commanded you, says the Lord. And behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Have a great day. Just keep in mind that the Lord will be using you in one way or another today to bring his good news to others. So just allow it to happen and just trust that God will give you what you need. Have a great day and go in peace, glorifying God.